swagging, swagging, swagging. Yo, people, come back to the fix. Here in an undisclosed location, you see me? Now I hear Ari here. No gimmicks, you see me? We're here with one of the breakout artists them of the year. Mm -hmm. And one who we're glad is still with us, you see me, after I meet up in a bad accident from what me see. But we're gonna talk about that and more. We're gonna talk about none other than craft and Buddha Chap in our building. Great for being here one night time, man, you know. We're just gonna say, in our building, but we're outside, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we're outside. Overlooking the hills of Kingston, you're you know going to see mean? it. So the people them see this, this nice exclusive setting, they know that we don't usually do these things, all right? But we decided to do this for craft. We resurrect the fixated series, and we say we have all the things to talk about with craft. Craft have all the things to talk about. So I could just get into it. First of all, give thanks, craft. That is it, man. to us. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Give thanks. You see me to the one about say, all right. Because we see the, the, the pictures and the images of you and the accident and everything. So, what happened there? Basically, I just saw life set up on that time, you know? Mm. Yeah, certain things, you know, plan for it. And it just happened. Because mm. it was before your birthday, it was like a day before? Yeah, yeah. a day before, like. What I say? It was on my birthday. On your birthday. Because it was after 12. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So was it that, um, were you coming from celebrating your birthday or were you going to a location to celebrate your birthday? No. See, the thing is, I, I just performed at a, a show I was booked for in okay. Shilani. Mm -hmm. And I was on my way to another show that I was booked for in Montego Bay. Mm. So basically, I was trying to, you know, meet the expectations mm -hmm. of the promoter. I try to meet the expectations of the time and such and so forth, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, um, my entourage was, we we we, 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 we drive out as an entourage. Mm -hmm. But at the time, too, me just stay and perform. My brain did graggy. Yeah. You know? I know, it's like the adrenaline rush of yeah. being on stage yeah. and then, you know, sure. really settle Probably down it. With time and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we have a, we have a thing where we say, when you bring the one percent or twenty percent and such and so forth. Mm -hmm. At that point in time my brain was at one percent. Wow. Uh, yeah. zero. Zero. And I almost reached a zero. So uh, I did I try to take on the road for the one percent, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's a specific uh part in Montego Bay where there's no sign. Okay. A sign that shows that all right, we have something here bordering the road or mm -hmm. something like that. There was an island well, that's what Jamaicans call it, an island, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically just a, um, a partition, a partition mm -hmm. you know. So I hit the partition. When I hit the partition, the car flicked in the air. Mm. But while the car was in the air flicking, I thought I was still on the ground. Yeah. Wow. All this time I was in the air and the car was flicking. Wow. You know. The when time stopped for you? In a sense, like basically to you me, you know, like moving and going a slow motion and thing. Hey, I really think, man, because mm. at that moment my brain go blank. Wow, as in the only thing me I see, I just, I just black, just darkness. Mm. Mm. You know, and the car a flick and when the car land, the car land and um, like this, facing up. So the tire is in the air. Right. Mm. You know, and at that time, it did still conscious. Yeah. It did shaking, but still conscious. Mm -hmm. And when the car land, I thought, I thought the car like stopped or something, but the yeah. car, the car never stopped. So mm. wait, the car did vertical like so? Yeah, Same it landed like so. It never landed. It never so landed. Uh, right. It just landed straight on the ground. Mm. You know. Mm. And when it actually fall over now, I did some knockout. Mm. You know. And it's like, after that, is the only thing me hear is like a bee a shouting at my ears and I say, Oh, Budo, wake up. I'm like, I'm open my eye. And I say, Oh, I go on a sec. I don't even remember some crash one night time. Wow. You know, and then like, I start here, bag of people out the door, I shout and I say, Oh, the car I go boom up. Mm. As me, the car I catch a fire mm. and them thing there. You know. Then I just see some and start pull me out like the 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 the, the car, you see yeah, me? Yeah. And bring me to the hospital. While I'm there at the hospital now, they might tell me exactly how I go on mm. after the crash. 
Because like your entourage, because you say that you sped away from the entourage, yeah. but did they, they they were keeping up with you at, or they caught up with you at this time? And yeah, so they, they caught saw... me up after a crash. Okay, okay. Yes, me. So you remember anything on the way to the hospital? You remember anything? No. Mm. When we reach at the hospital, and it's like, I start regaining like full consciousness. Yeah. And EG, them I tell me, say, yo, when they pull me out of the car, I literally, f- I like, from my head to the, my toe, mm. I guess. So even if like one spark did mm-hmm. spark, I, I just hit that for me. <sighs> yes, mm. me. And them show me a video to one night time where it's like, the, the, the car spark, and they have to run left the car. Mm. Yes, me. And it's like, um, a deep dry. He does say, yo, when him stays and him see everybody around, him really have to stop and say, yo, Jano, I do that in the car and the car out for boom up and all the way around from the car and this G stays and turn back. Is me? And as so comes everybody stays and turn back now and say, we get the dog out of the car because is he that, is he that dog dead? Mm. Or the car boom up and kill you all the way. Mm. Is me? So it's a, it's, a, it's a critical choice they make at that moment. Is he pre? Mm-hmm. What, wow. what hurt the most? What hurt the most? Yeah. Why? <clears throat> Uh, basically, to be honest, it's like, you know, really put me in a trance or trauma or nothing like that, to be honest, you know. Mm. You understand? Usually, for, for, for other people, they might think that, all right, I'm going to crash today, tomorrow, I'm not me. Mm. No, that I'm not that type of person. We don't talk physically still, but we oh, don't see what your mindset oh. there. You see me physically, like what hurt pain you the most? Eh? Yeah, no, I know I'm just there saying I interview my father right now. My head hurt me, my ears hurt me, mm. my foot hurt me, my hand hurt me. But you know we have to still do it. Mm. Yeah. You see it? Because if right now you see me have this for my head, I have a band-aid for my ears because it, like my ears it come like it, it, it slammed somewhere in the car wow. and like the whole of my ears um, mash up. Wow. You see me? So the doctor, I mean, what was the prognosis? They're them saying that you you you're making a you can make a full recovery, so it's just taking time right now and yeah. let the body do what it needs to do. You're right. Okay. You understand. Yeah. Because even the doctor them I look for me and I wonder if, if I really me them I talk to one night time cause wow. an accident like that me sup- me, I'm not supposed to be alive right now. Me mm. even supposed to do an interview. Yeah. yeah. Me. But I mean I was I was surprised when when it when um the whole thing or when the the interviews organized because I'm like wasn't he just in an mm. in a crash right so you yeah, know man. just to see that you're here and no broken bones thank God right, right? Mm. yeah to me it seems like there was a higher spirit at work mm-hmm. that night mm-hmm. we had that before and it's interesting for you your positive mindset towards it you just that going really positive bit like, right like how how do you view everything looking back on it now that whole experience there. All right, basically, on my view, everything. I don't want anybody to miss like all me, mates. You know? Even though me just, I was just in an accident, I don't want everybody to do like what me do. You're just in an accident and it's like, you're just, you know, you're not really mean nothing to you a certain mm, way. Okay. Mm. Not saying that it doesn't mean anything for me, you know. Mm-hmm. It was a life lesson. You understand? It wasn't an L. It mm. was a life lesson. I learned. Mm. Mm. You understand? But for all the viewers them out there, all I'm ever telling you just ensure it's on a cautious on the road. Yeah. You know? Especially during them time. Yeah. So for example, you're there in a, a, a lane where the sign say you should only go 60 kilometers is me? Nobody feel like say, oh, I am this life. <laughs> you know? Hey, I go double that. Mm. And go 120. You see, car, mm. you might not as lucky as me one at a time. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad to put out these messages out there. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. Because we see other incidents with artists with them crash care and we hear that all the time, man. Is me? For somebody so young and just really a, a, a break stride in the game. We, we, we can't even imagine how the whole dance our community would have feel for years, say. It's me a drop out cause of this. Right. God, no. Cause r- to be honest, you know, to how that accident look, uh, that should happen. Well, mm-hmm. that was that would be something that that would be the normal thing to happen. Yeah. 
You understand? If you a, a car flick five times with you and then land and then flick again, mm-hmm. you're not supposed to survive that. And mm-hmm. even if you survive that, your hand supposed to break or yeah. your foot or yeah. somewhere. You're supposed yeah. to be in a much worse condition. Worse than condition. You right now, right? You're supposed to, when you look for a on a, on a moving vehicle you feel like you want to run go back in your house I mean you said something I was listening to you and you're saying the expectation of getting to the promoter and I feel like you know human beings but especially for artists they always try to put themselves in precarious situations in order to fulfill certain obligations that they have probably of them fans or promoters etc mm-hmm. so you know, I was just wondering if that is also a life lesson too where you figure like maybe you can't do so much too too quickly or things like that right. you know like my message to all uh, not just artists only mm-hmm. because there are other uh, persons that work off time if you're late just accept the facts you don't late yeah you understand mm-hmm. and when i get a time i always try to either be on time or be before time mm-hmm. so therefore you have um you have space to make up for your mistakes yeah yeah, yeah. you know and that's what i did wrong that night yeah because i mean was it a case where you could have communicate with the promoter and say yo me run a little late right may I, come, may I come still but you know i'm gonna be about x time right you know was that was that something that you considered too or yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's something that I consider because basically um that night I wasn't even drunk, you know. Mm-hmm. I was sober. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just the time. Yeah. yeah. And the, the the fact that like the show is almost finished and I'm not there. Yeah. It's not even about the money. Yeah. It's not even about anything monetary. It's, it's just, just that the fans, fans are there. Right. And they might expect to see me. Were you the only one in the vehicle? I had somebody like a passenger with you. No, I wasn't the only one in the vehicle. Okay. And um, how are they? Yeah. Well, Breeze, that's Breeze one, Jenna. Mm-hmm. He was in the car with me also. Mm-hmm. But you know, the man is stubborn because them do an x ray on him and him say, him have, I don't know what them call it, a, a hemorrhage in him chest. You understand? That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. But two of them man is stubborn when I tell him, <laughs> I have to rate him still. You know, dog say Emery or not, him still I do it. You know, yeah man. Dog say him rather do it. I'm yard instead of day in a hospital bed, cause him day in a hospital bed, him not make no progress. Mm. You understand? And also, Eden was in the car. Also, okay. She was in the back seat. I have a story to tell you about that too. Mm-hmm. Mm. She was in the back seat, and supposed me tell her say. When the car land, like facing up like this, yeah. he then kick off the car door and walk out of the car. <laughs> a superwoman. <laughs> a wonder woman. A real dog. So like she, like she kicked kick off, off the, the door. door. Yo, she kick off the door, bro. Wow. And walk out of the car. She don't miss leg there. You see me? <laughs> and when, when the G them tell me, Oh, we go down. Mm. It's like she I run up and down and try to get me out of the car, even though she injured Jordi, yeah. she had to get me out of the car mm-hmm. you know and when she, everybody get when them get me out of the car and move me to the hospital that was the time when she realized oh, oh shit mm. but my damage too and she dropped down in the road mm. you know is there adrenaline adrenaline she right. adrenaline yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, wear off she yeah, yeah start take effect yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah man, and things like that man I feel really I feel really tired for that man you know Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, if a boy scratch man, I know man, and I give him, I do it like fun. Mm-hmm. I give mix neither. I see you pray. Man. Yeah, man. Well, as we said, we're, we're thankful that you're here with that because you celebrate your birthday. I don't know. Do you have a superstition about your birthday? I do. I don't know if many people share it because my family always say, like, we always care for our own birthday because it's start and death for us. <laughs> so I, I don't know. You know what I say? Over. Over the time when birthday always followed, mm. we never celebrate it yet. Mm. Why? I, you know, I I don't know, you know. But it just feel like a normal day for me mm. Mm. when my birthday followed. Stay the same. Isn't it? Mm. It's just it's just a it's just a day. Even though them say the day when you when when you're born, mm. I'm like, you know, really mean no difference to me. Cause say for example, my birthday is today. 
and somebody a book me for a show, for a million and something. I don't go tell him it's my birthday. <laughs> no, <laughs> my father a show, man, father, man, how you say? But, but it have to be for a million and something. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 Makes sense. Uh, no. <laughs> Men are so different. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm here. I'm thankful. Yeah, woo. Yeah, right. man. Yeah, I'm, because I'm a birthday, I'm going to get to the bag. I'm going to get to the bag first. Wow, I can't okay. celebrate my birthday any day. You know? mm. Yeah, man, I can't born December 11. And I celebrate my birthday March 11. And I say, this is my birthday. Today is my birthday. All you right, can't tell right. this yeah, I choose to okay. celebrate the birthday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Makes sense. <laughs> I guess. I mean, you know, if, if there's any sort of new thing, renewal, anything, yeah, yeah. no matter. For yeah, real. Man. So yeah. you're afraid for drive? No, I can't. You know what I'm saying? What type say, of No. Because them have a saying, and this no, no, and no, no homo type shit neither. Mm. When you fall off of the ass, if you always go back up and struggle yourself again, you know what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if me stay so and crash in a car, me just I go think back and realize uh, which mistake I make a night there. Mm. All right, I'm not make it again. Mm. That no means I go slow down, you know? Mm. That means I go faster. Metaphorically yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know? Careful. That means I go faster. Mm. Yeah. But I learn. Mm-hmm. So, I know how to go faster mm-hmm. without fear. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, and also, you're celebrating so many things too, because you're, I mean, well, a couple months off your EP. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, you know, people, I, I'm hearing it's getting positive reception, I must say. I mean, I'm happy in Skazi, man. Jervis not stop eating. Listen to every yeah, every man. week he plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah. but but there's a specific line in one of them songs there in the EP, you know. Mm. Which which one? Which is that? What's the line? Where me say um something always go wrong when you're too happy. Mm. Yeah, no. I know. I feel like this is one, one of those times. Yeah, man, I one of them times, yeah, man. Me wow. too happy. Wow. Yeah, no. So that cause it. That's just very sad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. You know, yeah, when, when you, and I feel like, and you know what? I understand that and I relate to that line too because it always feel like when you're in a good mood, always something, something always just grand. always something for come knock you off the rails yeah, for man. real. Yeah. From a small man, I don't yeah. man. So, I mean, does that teach you like not to be happy? I mean, well, that could, that to could be, be honest, the response. As an artist, mm-hmm. and me can speak and be a famous artist too. That will make you depressed. Mm-hmm. Cause I regularly depressed, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when, we, when we talk about pain, I sing about pain, man. And I just because you rhyme with what we are saying, I sing a real thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, one of them artists there that when they do sing about pain and DJ about pain, I yeah, man. actually feel. Yeah. I from yeah, that I fought from. Man. Because mm-hmm. even the great um off the EP eleven eleven, mm-hmm. the great one. I feel like the the chorus is a you you wonder if God just at here, you know. Yeah. You know? And mm-hmm. I, and I relate to that because sometimes you feel like you're ignored. Yeah, no. You know. And it's just like you feel like no God is f- hearing you. Like, like him, him just pick up your phone. Yeah. You know because just to answer the email. The reason why I say that to you know mm-hmm. is because you see when we small growing up, mm-hmm. we used to we used to call upon God mm-hmm. often. And it's not just. Like, say, for example, in a poverty, not just to take me out of poverty, but mm-hmm. certain petty things. Like, mm-hmm. say, for example, example um, I break my, my mother's favorite crackery. I know she going to beat me. So I call upon God and I tell God, say, please, make she forget. Make, make she beat me. <laughs> and I still get beaten. <laughs> you know? So uh, it, 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 it's not just about yeah. serious things either. Yeah. Yeah. It's about small things. Yeah. But when it comes to the serious things, them. More while him, him, him still not answer neither. Mm. Yes, he pray. You think he's not, he doesn't answer or, you know, because faith, I, I was just talking to somebody about this, about faith, because we pray and it's like, when we pray, what are we expecting? Are we expecting immediate miracles, like this grand immediate miracle? Right. Or is it that, you know, he answers it or it comes through, but it's not in the way that we expect. All right. To be honest, I mean, I said this for an interview. Most people might pray it different from how me meds it. You know. I still have a, a, a mental battle wondering if, if, if all of this is real one at a time. You Meaning know. God? Yeah, God and the devil and the whole mm. of them something. Yeah. Yeah. I still have a mental battle. I wonder if all of this is real. 
sometimes I sit down and say, I'm not real for true, man. Mm-hmm. Just work with what I'm saying. Sometimes I say, no. Mm. You understand? And it's things like that. We push off to do your research. Because the thing is, one of the, one of the main things that make me stay so and sit down and wonder if them something are real for true is because there is one God and so many religions. Why? Mm. You know? Mm. But there is only one devil. <laughs> you understand? So why them never make one devil and so many religions worshipping that one devil, but them make one God and so many religions worshipping that one God? You understand? Mm. Things like that puzzle me more while well, and them things that we send in a depression. Mm. You understand? Because sometimes you all sit down and say, oh, why me even do what me do at night time? Me, like, even pray. to like, why, why are you even being good? Why are me even being good? Yeah, following the rules. I mean, and see people where I do, I follow the, like, I follow the, the, the 10 commandments. Mm-hmm. I follow the, the 20 and how much commandments where the police they make. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I follow the 100 and had commandments where people in life make. So you can't do this because that's wrong. Mm-hmm. And I'm still dead. Mm. You see me? Yeah. I believe them call it existentialism. <laughs> you know. But we didn't even go dwell go far in that one at time because yeah. you know them 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 conversation and some different type of conversation yeah, as we yeah. play. He, well, he kind of tied to like I think last time we talk and you talk about dwelling in the darkness. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. This this experience make you want to dwell further or probably step out a little bit more in the light. Yeah, you know, so to be honest, even when we day in the brightest light, we still feel like me in the dark. Mm-hmm. You know, because my eyes them only I see light, but my brain's still in a very dark place. And it's not just because of the present things were happening present, these things were happening in the past. Mm. You know. Because the thing is, you know, when something happened to you, you know, you don't learn the same time, you know. And sure. when it happened to you again, you still not learn. And when it happened to you the third time you now, you say blood cloud, yeah, you know me an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Why me keep on a step over the one step here? Yeah. yeah. And that that is another piece your brain cover up in a darkness now. Mm. So if I used to trust a somebody there, and you trust him one time and he fail you. You trust him again and he fail you. You trust him a third time and he fail you to the extent where you're almost dead. You're not going to trust him a fourth time. Mm-hmm. And this piece your brain is engulf in a darkness. Yeah. And you just not going to trust nobody at all now. We talk about the birthday and celebrating birthday. We feel like say you're one of them artists that will be celebrated for the year that you're having. Mm. When we start out the interview, I say, oh, I'm one of the breakout artists of the year. You see me? Is that a part of what contributed to you being happy? Like, you, you, Break like you see what the work, where did I do? I see, oh, you know, I the took, stature in the game right now. To be honest, you know, the only thing can make me happier when my mother happy. Mm. You know? Yeah. When my mother smile, the mother can call me and smile. And say, oh, my son, <laughs> hey, you're not easy, you know, how you do it? Mm-hmm. Them think that even if me did sad throughout the world, they are the one called they alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me, me just happy for your idea. Not even personal achievements, nothing. Not like even that. personal achievements, me I tell you. That's it. Because my mother mean everything to me one at a time, man. Mm. You know? I mean, what so- was her reaction to the crash, by the way? Let me tell you, the boy, <laughs> up until now, all before the interview, she had called me. Is she a praying woman? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. I'm sure she did have a, a prayer warrior session. Yeah, yeah. man. Man, I did all want to leave work for each at the hospital. I tell her, I tell her, I said, I'm a government woman, man. How do you, man? Mm. I yeah, so I'm looking at the time I drop off a bicycle. <laughs> I said. I mean, we're not comparing bike cars yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> 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 totally different situation. Totally different. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I mean, is she proud of you? Have you said that, you know? Yeah, man, every day my mother yeah. call me and tell me, say she's proud, man. Nice. You know, mm-hmm. I'm a father. Because I'm a father. I want a reason why I love this music thing so much, you know, because when I used to smile, I used to wake up and hear my listen, Garnet, Silk, mm. Sizzler, Buju Bantan. You understand? And them the song they used to wake me up in the morning time, all when I go to school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, me. I mean, love with the music, and the fact that me, I do something where him love. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. that alone give me the the, the push where me need to go even further. Yeah, and yes, he's he also pray. proud of you, and he's expressed that as well. Right, mm-hmm. and I'm not trying to be selfish neither. 
You see, it's not just my mother and father alone. You see, we as musicians, we are actually doctors. You see me? But they don't give you the name, they don't call we artists. Mm. But we are actually doctors. You see me? So that's why I mean, I say most artists have to be careful what them sing say one at a time. Okay. Can you, you know? say my, what kind of doctor? Like, is it the doctor of the mind psychology? Or? Yeah. Okay. Because, mm -hmm. say for example, the youth they over there, so, he might have a bad day. You see me? And he come like, say, telepathically, mm -hmm. your brain pick up, say, you know, say somebody in the world will have a bad day today. Mm -hmm. Or he might have a bad week. And telepathically, you go in the boat and you sing a song. Based upon how you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see me? And automatically when the like the sun did the song drop and you the pan him last brink where him did a go stay so and go lay all go kill a somebody there over there so and him that go rap Miss Jen over there so <laughs> and one of them style it. You see me? Mm. I'm gonna listen to Bodo Chap and say, no. There is still we still have faith. Yeah. You know? Cause if him can do this. Then me can do it too. You see, pray. Yeah, man. Because all the people, young artists out there, you know. Young artists, I tell us, them, them wicked. Yeah. yeah. It's just that them not have the right push to do it. And them feel like, say, yo, them sing one song and drop it. And them supposed to, like, get the crowd's attention you after the it, one yeah. song. Yeah. And, and I say, work, man. Do people reach out to you, like people you describe? Yeah. They're having a bad day and say, yo, I'm listening to your song. And Believe. Mm. Mm. But I'll pan the Instagram. Because I go pan the live other day and make a talk. Make them know, say, yeah, man, I see you all on no man. Mm. Nobody feel like I see you no man. You see me? Somebody we all send me a DM. I tell me how them day go. And I time, just randomly tell me how them day go. Yeah. Or I'll tell me, say, oh, father, right now. You see me? I feel like nothing now go right for me when I time and thing. You see me? And see, through me, you know, I'm busy. I'm going to read it, but I'm not going to respond. Yeah. You know, how I'm going to respond, I'm respond in my music. Mm. And automatically, that specific fan can know, say, yo, man, are you me do I want a man for man? Mm. Believe, no, man. Go and listen, man. Yeah, probably nice. mean a whole feet. lot more. Yeah. You see me? Yeah. I feel it. Because yeah. I say all a specific line in it. Well, well, just that fun. them tell me about. Yeah. That's and when special. When they hear the line there, they yeah. say, yeah, man, I'm going to listen, man. I mean, and I, I think that's so special because you create a special, um, I'm using the word special too much, but you create a bond, yeah. a significant bond with with, the, with your fans. Right. Because when you feel like you're connected in some magical, mystical way. Yes, yeah. you pray. And, I'm, and, you know, just to go back to, because you're one of the first artists where come on and actually you said that you're doctors, but to me, it's almost like you're taking accountability of your influence that you have right. on, on, on the public. You know, and is that something that I mean, how you pick up that? Because most of your peers are be like, I don't have any influence. It's not me. Da, 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 da. Like, you know, you saying that you're a doctor and doctors take Hippocratic oaths. Right. Do, no do no harm. So, you know, you as an artist, like you're taking accountability for the influence that you have. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm sure something. Before me was an artist, you know, I used to like if me have a favorite artist. You know? Me not just want him to sing song and I say, yo, behave yourself. Go mm -hmm. on a school. Mm -hmm. Don't rob. Don't kill. Mm -hmm. No, it a go, it a go become repetitive. It a go like, brother, every minute you tell me this, me here the first time, you know, brother, give me something else now, man. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah. 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 So, me can't just stay and sit down and do them song there alone. Yeah. Me have to do some song. I'm mad this life, man. Mm -hmm. Me fans them and I eat that. Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm-hmm. OG Bobby Johnson. You see me? Yeah, you're there in a sad mood. OG Bobby Johnson start play. Yeah, man, I want you, man. I'm mad this life, man, father. That, that way you do to me, that they even fears me when I time. You see me? Woman just all left him when I time. Him here, big crook, go and go report it. I'm tired. 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 Yeah, because that's how I felt yeah. when, when I was smaller. I was like, when I'm in a down mood, mm -hmm. I go listen one of my favorite artists and feel active again. Yeah. You see me? Buy a one beer. You see me? And stay so and feel active again. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if me don't want to feel active, 
my artists have wholly passed on when I can listen where I go stay, so I'm all right. I didn't feel like happy. I just I like a pain now. I feel like now. I'm yeah. going to listen to some pain song till me overcome a pain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. In order for you, for, you, for you talk to the people, I cannot think like an artist. I cannot go into the boat as an artist. You have to go into the boat as a normal civilian. So with all that being said, even reflecting on the crash, I'm there at a pre and I say, yo, does this give you like a new perspective even the war go on with Mali and them type of thing? I know like, does, do, you, do you have new perspective on them type of thing? Like it's small or you're still pre them thing? There? I never did pre none tall too serious like that before. Yeah. You know, so I never did pre too serious. Mm. I'm still not pre too serious. Mm. You understand? Yeah, man. I just I, 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 I go with the flow <laughs> on my time. Mm. Yeah, man, because let me show you something. The people them never um, accept me because I run out with a song of this, a million different artists. Yeah. You see me? The people them never accept me because I do a song and it go viral on TikTok. You see me? The people them never accept me because, like, I, did, I was already an artist and like just saying I me, me, me end up in a crash mm. and the crash go viral like the crash go run up in a, one of them factory they over so mm. and boom up and kill some people and something and I was the only artist in that crash I mean not dead that's not the way I went viral I went viral I didn't even go viral I hard work do this mm-hmm. you know hard work and dedication and just the love for music. You understand? So when I see s- certain artists stay so forward and like feel like them can stay so and say two things in a song and draw out the singer. Nah, fam. You have to go harder than that. Mm. You understand? Because, say for example, like Sting. You understand? Sting never approach me <laughs> and say, yo, we appear yo. If it clash the artist, yeah. mm-hmm. you see me? Sting paid me because them want them know me have a, a, a catalog of songs, and there are people out there wha, 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 that wants to see me perform that catalog of songs live in front of them mm-hmm. and Sting. And it's not like, say, for example, all right, I'm a young artist and want to spotlight now. Sting a forward, yeah. want to spotlight. Me I go do anything to make sure I say reach past thing. If I even if it for this being your bounty, me must reach past thing. Mm-hmm. No, and uh, me not that desperate at the current moment. Mm-hmm. And the minute you do things like that, is is you're you're not you're not believing your talent. Mm. You see me? True. You're not believe say you can do do you can take on a big stage like that or people like those have to get in touch with you. Yeah. Because you're talented. And people want to hear you. And people want to see you. You understand? I just decide that, Mr. Man. Mm. So uh, you brought up Sting and about what you're paid to do. Was there ever a conversation where they brought to the table say, oh, okay, we paid you for this prior to anything I kick off with any other artist? Was there any uh, a renegotiation, a re-talk uh, in a sense, say, oh, ah, what I pay for do this as well? No. Mm. I never do that because the thing is, you know, them have a saying, if I realize I'm good at something, never do it for free. Mm-hmm. A man with teeth light, and you yeah, I'm near, but your JPS just come cut off your light. You feel say I'm going to go up on a, a light post with how much volts I kick for free, <laughs> if you give you light, no, <laughs> you have to pay him for that. Okay. You know are you willing to do that? Are you willing to clash, by the way? Willing to clash? Me clash anybody. Okay. Okay. You understand? Mm-hmm. Me clash anybody. Mm-hmm. If you understand? Paid. Right. If paid. Yeah. Okay. But it even, all right, you see, even when I say if paid, me now go just stay as all right. You bring five million, come give me for me clash. I do on you. No, me I give back your money and fling in your face and say for respect, elder. How you do? 
go over there so with that. That is indeed the right move. Yes, he pre- <laughs> Especially if your mother are doing a right move. Yeah, man, go over there so with that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because them, them day year before we. Mm-hmm. You understand? And there's no beef there. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. no beef there. Mm-hmm. Why Why you just feel like such you're rich and I have money? Me, if you just take your five million and go this a man where man even do me nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that is the same thing that's happening right here now. Okay. Mm. You understand? So there's no inherent beef with Maladon because he mentioned him in a song and he yeah. dissed the crew and <laughs> yeah. DJ and all them people. So what was the reaction? I thought it was everybody. I mean, I thought it was Cam Swaring. And I, I come to find out it was only just two persons. Mm. You know, when I go to school and the principal call you in office mm-hmm. and give you a suspension, Mm-hmm. I asked the principal, Why? what I do? What I do? Why I suspend me for? Mm-hmm. And the principal decides, I don't have to tell him, what well, is suspension? I'm going to do a treaty and come back to school. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how confused I am right now. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know where they start from. Okay. I don't know how I start this. Uh, you understand? You ask the two man them and like they, they don't, they want, don't to say. want to say what start. Because I'm even confused. Like, you know, song just are gone. Mm. Second verse, everything start. I'm like, wait, what a, wait, you what understand? a minute. Men are not confused. <laughs> you understand? And see true me, no, me now go there in my yard and I sit down and I panda. Why make this man I do so much song and I, and I try Involve me in it. Me mm-hmm. not go there me yard and she don't miss that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mad. Me miss high on that, man. Did you think he was looking at high power for you? I don't know, you know. Mm. I don't know what was the plan. But I decided to remove myself from that plan. You understand? What was the plan when, I think you go up on live and say they're going to drop a song. Yeah. And you must have drop it and then remove it. Cause what I'm happened sure, there? Let me show you something. Mm. In the 48 laws, Right? There is a specific law. So before all warfare, you have to be, you have to have knowledge of what you are going to gain and what you are going to lose. Mm-hmm. You understand? So me stay so and drop two song. Uh, you know, I go because them two song, them literally just stay so and feel their brain chip out in a studio. I'm saying, I want to go and stay now. Load the reading on the pro tool. Uh, I'm going to just stay so and do two something. Mm. And stay so and go so bluff. You understand? Because the thing is, when I dropped those two songs, you see me? I gave that guy an opportunity to say, all right, do something quick and fast. So we hear a sting up to one at a time. Because I come like a data emotive. Mm. Do something fast and fling on YouTube, make you see what sting up to one at a time. Did you give like three hours or something? I gave it like five. And within that five hours, I gained nothing. <laughs> me not see Sting ring my manager <laughs> and say, what go on? We have a one, one, one million, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Because we see it say, yeah, it is active, you know, man. You have one million foot, yeah. Mm-hmm. In case you're ready for his clash. You see me? Me not see Sting call. Me not see um, him drop a song. I say, Ray, you understand? And... When me looking at the comment section of the song, half of my fans them didn't even know how to go on. They them wonder if a mad the artist are mad out because they wonder why the artist just dropped them two songs or so. Mm. So that for sure, say half of the world didn't even know about this a clash of one time. So what me I go gain? Mm. Can't gain nothing. Okay, some people would say that that time they were get probably too short. Probably need more time for right. Is it me? But per me a ton. Right. Up. But speaking of that. I dropped another song. Mm. I took down those two songs because yeah. I'm not the eye. The thing is, me set me YouTube one way. YouTube of a video. Audio Mac, Spotify, Apple Music of a audio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is why they have YouTube. The only thing me drop from YouTube is video. Sure. Mm-hmm. You understand? So me take them to them took them take down them two songs there. Because me have a thing named what them call it? OSD. OCD. Mm. You understand? If, if something not perfect, me, 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 it bother me feel like feel a whole week till me remove it. Mm. You see me? And they come on to your song. Then. Right. Mm. So that, them two liquid looking, looking audio thing there, it just, you know, you know, look right. It look like I get OCD just a think about Just it, a right? think about <laughs> it, fam. Yeah, believe. Yeah, see it, yeah. You see me? So I <laughs> take them down. I'm still so all right. I test the water again. I drop a song with them called Pan. Right now, I'm tempted to take down a song like I don't make no sense. Mm. You see me? Because me have too much 
song where me voice and put on too much crowd favorite where if me drop them them there like Jamaica rock you see me mm. I mean I do this for man you see me I mean I do this for please a man I do this for please my fans them mm -hmm. you see me I do the music for please my fans them you see me and that song I drop named Pan when I drop it I say alright them say a clash I see how this song go one night time I drop the song it's 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 like deja vu because I see him we have me they drop a song with the world a rock it would have literally like it would have more active yeah. than that song when me drop on YouTube you see me so at that moment I realized that this is just a waste of time you understand and my fans are me I deal with right now okay and the thing about it too them say two power and a murder yeah I just said that man, I said two power one and murder. Mm. You understand? Excessive. Right. Yeah, so you never want to make it seem like you and Pablo are gang up. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. And right now, to all the thing look one night time. Because I have, have bird in the street, you know. Mm. And I have yet to keep me notified in a real life. Mm. Mm. See, pray. It pray what terror did say about, about it, the situation, what I'm saying about you specifically. About me? Yeah. Oh, it look like it was jumping around and jump out like. You know, me not listen to my dog interview. Um, what them call it? Block them. Review them, eh? Yeah, because those things are like are like distractions. Mm. You see, in my music, you have to have on blinkers. You can never look left. You can never look right. You have to just keep looking forward. Mm. You understand? So the minute me go stay so and watch one of them vlog there, eh? like that just got distract me. You understand? The only way me can know say. The G a vlog about me mm. is if like one of my dog them stays and say, Oh, and anyway, the dog say, Now I vlog, mm -hmm, say, What one? And he tell me a key point to him, say, That's soft, brother, I'm here, brother. Mm. You see me? Yeah. So that does happen? Yeah. From time to time, like, yeah. dog them around you. And... Yeah, them, you see me? Because mm. me not really keep tabs for them, them something there. Mm. You see me? More while me, they warm, and I just try to figure out another way to make the world rock. Mm. That is my motive to make the world rock. You understand? Which is your only job. <laughs> it is my only job. Yes, we, we spoke to, to Marley Dan uh, recently. And the, the, the conversation about streaming versus YouTube views was brought up. And he brought up how his streams are seemingly doing better than your streams. I'm kind of allude to... On Spotify. On Spotify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he allude or implied that you know, you are one of the artists them that are faking YouTube views. Faking YouTube views? Are buying views, are doing certain trickery on YouTube to uh, make yourself seem better than you are. I'm sure also, something. also, he was mm. even saying to like, there is manipulation on his video, but mm. I don't know if it was you. And I he don't was know, speaking in general. general. I don't like know people, if like, yeah, I don't know if, but I guess you. because the whole beef thing kind of yeah. everybody get caught up in it, so I don't know. All right, me but, show you something now. Yeah. Mm. Me with there, so right now, and me song, me have a song on premiere for drop. I'm a song just drop. I'm a go up on live. I'm a play my song one, one time. Me play my song one time on the live when mm. me just drop fresh. I'm play one time. And any one of my fans them can hear this and know say and a and a, and a joke me I make. Mm. We stay so and start dig up some other artists and I say, oh, I'm go listen to one of man, bad you know. Till me stray and start play some other artist song. And I say, oh, the youth are bad. Mm. You see me? Some artists like Joe Grime, SVM, you see me? Santos, you see pre, Bridge Jenner, you understand? I have made a whole heap of the artists. You see me? Even artists were established already. Yeah. Because that's just me. You see me? Me don't hear my song a million times in my studio, you know? I just want to know, say, drop and everybody are listening. All right, don't, don't listen. Hear the one I know. This is what I want to hear. Listen, watch a, watch a style. The youth are bad too, you know? No, go and go listen to him. Mm. Yeah, man, the youth are bad too, man. No, go and go listen. Because the thing is, other artists out there too want to see peace of light. Yeah. You see me? So, why me? I go try if you stop an artist. But even know if you do something. Forward in black to the Spotify darkness. Mm -hmm. I've been me been at the music for what, like a year, a year and something. You see, before me used to the music, 
And I'm going to be honest. Because that's just who I am. Mm-hmm. Like five years ago, that same artist, me used to listen to artists. Eh? Yeah. You see me? Me used to listen to artists and say, the youth are bad, you know? You see me? That's, that's very honest, by the way. You understand? Yeah. Me used to listen to the dog. Mm. You see me? First song, me stay so and start listening to the dog song, is a song where I drop a, a bill or something like that. You see me? And since me start doing the music, me realize that the music thing I have a, have a corruption about it. Because all the artists when me used to play them song for my life, even when I just drop a song, like them I try to show, show shade. Mm. When I literally help me, I try to help them. As he pray. So they would throw shade in a sense where like, you play my artist, like you're going like, you're better than me, something like that. that me not... I don't, uh, this, okay. this, this music, yeah, I'm like confusing. <laughs> It you will think mad you're you. confused. <laughs> yeah, it will mad you. Because like, yeah. bro, me have a song I play for my life, bro. Like, why, what me do? And this thing about stopping and other, like, what, 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 what you got? So yeah. he was saying that, and again, I'm not saying it's you, but. <coughs> or that he said he it, was it was you. Your, you are your people, but yeah. um, that people are manipulating his views, mm-hmm. his videos. So I kind of would make YouTube watch. So it's like... Shadow ban. Shadow like ban the, like it's, a, it's a thing where they make bots appear, bot comments appear. So okay. make YouTube kind of look into it and raise flag and things like shadow banning go on and it's like... You know... It, it don't really work well with the algorithm and the, the SEO. I think, yeah. So. Okay. So it's like manipulation and trickery no, no. on his part where most people would know most people would do it on their own videos yeah. he's saying that people are doing it on Tagging his on videos. Too. All right. Let me show you something. That means that uh, me I got to see him you see in battle then mm. okay. because me have a song on YouTube named Light Sort. See? Mm-hmm. That was a song on the EP and the song I have 5k comments right now. And his other day I got in the comments them. And the only thing I see are like one account a comment flame 50 times. I wow. say, oh this are... <laughs> Yeah, look it up now. Right? I'm looking it up. Which one? On the on in the video, right? Yes, the video, video. lights out. Like yeah. one account a comment flames 50 times. Mm. You see me? Then a next account a, a comment spaceship all 100 times. I'm like, how them are people? Mm. You see me? But me not going to make that bother me. You know? Even if it it it, it got in the uh, YouTube from mm. from being uh, what put in recommendations and such and yeah, so yeah, forth. Yeah. Uh, YouTube might put as a suspicious How me activity, I go stop yeah. it? Me can't do nothing if you stop it. Me just go continue make music. Mm-hmm. You see me? Me just go continue make music. I can't stop it. You just go yap, 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 but what you go do about it, you can't stop it. Mm. You understand? You have to understand, say, I just saw the music stay one at a time. I'm sure you'd want your videos to do well on, on YouTube and across the DSP. Alright, to be honest, you know, I go up on an interview already and I say it. Say, I do look, I do watch views, I do count views, I mm. do count stream. Like, every song when I drop, almost every song when I drop, them trend. And if you go up on my Instagram, you will never see me screenshot a trending song and put it on Instagram and say, watch out, see them song a trend. Mm. Who who am I showing off? I me don't me show off to nobody. Mm. I just want to say people are listening to my song. Mm. And, people, and, it, and it, it, it means something to them. You understand? You know, but we live in this era now where the viewers come for so much. You know, we see where, you know, it it trends. That's that's something that PRs and publicists would use and say, hey, like, you know, my artist, the artist is doing great and mm-hmm. they're doing this. At one point before it was, before I realized the, the trend was like all the artists would be touring. Right. So they would say it, like they'll do one and two shows that line up significantly and it would be a tour. No, it's trending, you that's know. So every in the last yeah, ten years. much I, every era has its own, you know, manipulation. But are signifiers of what yeah. them you see, the, yeah. to be doing well. Yes, so, you see that mm-hmm. that uh, that has stopped enough young artists from believing in themselves. Mm. Mm. Because this, the the views, this views count thing, for something, right? You know. Me. But how can you? But how you know you get? You say you want Jamaica rock. How you know you met Jamaica Rock if you're not look on the views? Is there something else that you use as 
a signifier? When I get booked for a show. Okay. That's how I know. Okay. That's why if anybody there, like, if anybody is at a show that I'm booked for, a line that I like to use before I sing a song. You don't know that one, yeah? Sing a party for me. You see if them can sing that specific line for me. That's how I know, say, yo. If you reach over here, so, yeah. all right, me like that. Don't mm. go and sing. Yeah. Okay. You understand? Okay. That's how I determine if the world I listen to my song. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because... And you say yourself that it's corrupt, <coughs> you know? So even to, like, there's, like, tri- tricks and trade matches boxing and yeah. business, them say. So. All right, because I'm sure some. Say, for example, a song have 200 views. Mm-hmm. See? You did know, say, like, it can be an accident. Like 100,000 of them views that can be accident. A man just has scroll through YouTube. Oh, the thumbnail look, look, um, nice. Look, uh, look nice. Appeal, Click funny. Yeah. Oh, this song is trash. Yeah. Yeah. True. You yeah. get a True. view, right? So. True. That no means, say, the 100,000 people that listen to your song mm. and like it. Them use, them, some of them use ads too. Yes, they can't. <laughs> Right. Yeah, click on right. Mm. So that's yeah. why I mean, I mean, no, that is just a, a, a man made um a man made a figure. Yeah. Me have to hear my fans them. I sing my song them. Mm-hmm. Or them I repost my song them on Instagram. Or I go in the street. Cause remember some brain scrape, you know. Me go in the street disguise, you know. Or in the bus park. Disguise. You've not gone in a bus park. Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, man, believe, man. When last you go in a bus park? Which bus park, by the way? Ocherous bus park. And you go and no one recognize you? N- well, me no know still. Because <laughs> 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 all... I'm like, you're not easy to blend in, crap. Me have all my mask and something, but <laughs> okay. the reason why I do it still more and see how the street to accept me because the thing okay. is more like I have to go out and do your own field work. Yeah. Mm. You know? So I regular my disguise and like, all in at the bus park, them hear me sang them at Tom Paul. Three different style. Mm. You see me? And speak, and right, I have a touch of traffic, and I have a big up the youth, them in a watcherous market lane, and they say, they sell the clothes, them and anything. There. Yeah, man, a regular man. Them place there, you will hear great one a play, yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Light sort a play, there, so. Mm-hmm. Big crook a play, there, so. The near a play, so. And the whole stretch for, till you exit the market. Mm. A Buddha chap. Mm. You know, that is how me determine if my songs them make an impact. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, so you where just have a walk around like with a, a dark, you see me, shroud, you see me, I say, yeah, just a, yeah, man, your song them are like, you actually do that. <laughs> no, well, not really walk around because the thing is, sometimes you can't know who, yeah. Yeah. what, that is, sound like what is danger and what yeah. is, is safe. Yeah. You know. The world is now more open. It's a globalized world. And that's how most promoters across the world get recognized with, with artists um, is through the YouTube and I guess the digital platform, other digital platforms. So you realize that maybe there's manipulation there, but for you, like you think there's authenticity there where, you know, you're as a judge, I'm my music reaching this place, which you probably never even think it would go that far. Funta. Not even not in Jamaica, like, like some far place, I don't know. Yeah, man. Phone yeah. call. Okay. I see the promoters reach out to you and say, "Hey, I'm calling from Bangladesh." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Phone call. Yeah. That's how you. That, that me I talk about. That's mm. how you determine say your music can reach places. Mm. You understand? There's a thing called like Spotify for artists and mm-hmm. Apple Music for artists. Yep. Those those apps give you a, 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 a um a rough analysis of the countries that are actually listening to your music. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, man. Just want to circle around using me to Pablo again. Like, you have a conversation with him about this whole thing and like, why it started? You say confused. So there, there wasn't a conversation even with him and say, what go on? Yeah. May I ask, may I ask you, like, what, what started all of this? He told you? Him not one either. <laughs> 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 you know, say, me say me I got stop laughing. You know, I need to stop giving me jokes. Believe. Say, I'm not tell you either. Him no know neither. 
Someone's lying. Someone's lying. Him no or someone either. is ashamed of the real reason why it's dark. <laughs> Him no know any that. Right now, my day and I dark, me I wonder what? What caused this? <laughs> me still puzzled. <laughs> oh my dark. God. So, yeah. I mean, if you're confused, like, what ad- do you offer advice to him and say, yo, like, start, go- continue, or don't continue, like, what? Like, how can you offer advice if you really don't know the genesis? All right, first thing, me ask, me ask, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, all your all things set one at a time. Mm. That's the first thing. Mm-hmm. All the peer check look. Mm-hmm. So, if peer check active, I could have, I could have the man. Cook yet, or could I bread yet when I loaf a bread, a tea for a bread bag? Mm. You know, matter it start to be if all right, continue mm. okay. till you reach thing mm-hmm. and then show us thing where you can do. Yeah, you understand because I'm telling you something for an interview. Yeah, see, pre songs on YouTube not determine if a man or an artist is great mm. at clashing. Yes, it's thing. Mm-hmm. That is where it is. Mm-hmm. You see YouTube, that's just the start of the tactics. Mm-hmm. That's just the, the, the layout. The warm up. Mm-hmm. You cannot do a song. I can't cost bad word for something. Of course. Me. I think it costs about two already. All right. <laughs> you cannot do a song at talk about Batty, mm-hmm. Freaky, Suck Pussy, Fuck Batty, Freaky. You realize how <laughs> I go reverse, reverse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you cannot do a person. song like that. And go perform that past thing. The amount of paperback will reach up on that. If yeah. you continue and say the same thing over and over, every time you say to the bandsman, bandsman seven, batty pussy, batty pussy, bandsman mix, batty pussy, batty pussy, the amount of back will reach up on that. Me did, me did say no, me did say no gimmicks, but me half a boss and one way. You see me? <laughs> Believe, I read thing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm tell her this. Really think yeah. though, eh? Because you know, that's the fear too, you know, because most art young artists it, it feel as if they they shy away from the clash right. and some of them not really battle that test it or you know, them not really wanna do it. So it seems as if you and well well not you, but Pablo ready and and know that this is a thing that can make and break you because it really can be. Like you, you can't know, break you, you know. Well, well, depending. Sting can break you. Mm-hmm. No but it can't make you. It can't make you. Okay. But it can't break you. Okay. You see, if you have great talent, it cannot break you. Mm-hmm. Mm. I must talent you have. And it is your only option. Why it's gonna break you? You go up a sting or feel. You don't have no option left. Alright? Go and go shub um, um concrete in a peel and him something. There. Cause like how I come like that, you have got to do for the rest of your life. Mm. You see me? But let me tell you something. You see, before you take on tedious work like that if you go clash as thing you have to always have a great team behind you mm-hmm. this is true no homo you see me you see deep dry mm-hmm. you see javilani i'm just a call two very experienced artists where they where where, where i said probably in the right road right now for mm-hmm. sting you see them two artists there? Believe. Them artists they're not normal when they come on to them type of work there. Yeah. You understand? So you're saying Pablo is going to be very well prepared? A man better forward FT one at a time. Okay. In a real life. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because I got to recite another piece of art of war. In all warfare. Remain motionless, remain helpless, forward to the enemy without weapon, shield, or armor. You understand? And when him see you forward, so, him not go go 100% when him a try to kill you. Him a go go halfway. When him no know, say you would even need weapon, shield, or armor to kill him. Mm. Yeah, man, that's a code, man. As he pray. No, I don't like I see some people that take up something where them leave ready for one night time. Mm. They even not talk no father. Mm. No, I don't like 
I bet they that lean towards a certain place, but after they that talk, they're like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. Might have to reconsider. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just here for the entertainment. Yeah. And, ult- and ultimately, it's, it's been an entertaining yeah, clash. Like, you know. Th- 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 tell the two yeah, men, them say, yeah. respect what I do. Say, oh, no, 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 never back down. Is yeah. it? I say, yo, oh, no, go at it. Mm. But some man, if you have respect, too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man, if you have respect, brother. Because if I show you something, listen Pablo sang them. You never see Pablo in a one time sang them in this chronicle, in this squash. Mm. Him not this no other artist. Mm. And me and you are war, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. call a bag of man name. If I continue on that topic, I get dark for them. I can change. Mm. In my style. Yeah. We see where we go on for mention. Yeah. Deep Jai and, yeah. and make I thought, I just, I'm like, is the whole camp worrying? I mm. didn't know. Okay. No worries. No worries. Yeah, move on. Yeah. You see me? So, me just one personally, you see me, big you up because it's good to see where you reach now in a career from the last time we talk. It's me old progress. Yeah. I said, Jano, the man I'll use part of the interview now a song. I said, yeah, we like this. I like really, this. The man. song sounds good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, we really want to big up for, oh, it's been a handlier career. Because, yeah. I mean, oh, I wanted to talk, we, progress, well, we wanted to talk to you, I mean, to the lead up and the... To the EP, yeah. To the EP. Oh, and, you know, and it's just to get your idea because the, 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 the how many songs again? Like six songs? Six. Mm. I want more forward. Yeah. Just double Bonus check, track. right? Six songs Bonus. on it, mm. and you give <laughs> varying sides to you, mm. but you still say, you know, like you stay true to who you are, you know. And and of course, we talk about like you're very inspired by hip hop, um, you know, and the new wave of dancehall. So yeah. when he put out this EP, what was the what was it that you wanted to communicate to, to fans and I guess even probably people who weren't even aware of craft when you put out this project? Like, what is it that you want them to, to take away from listening to these six songs? I wanted, I wanted them to know me. Mm. Mm. Get a better understanding of me. Because if I have 100,000 fans, mm-hmm. there is no space big enough for me to sit down and reason with the entire 100,000 of them and tell them how me is there. Yeah. So that EP was basically how me is there. Mm-hmm. You understand? And there is a hint in each of the songs. A hint? Yeah, man. In what? 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 What, you what mean? Is, what's hinting towards? Yeah. No, we can't tell you. Okay. Mm. You see me? All them have to do is listen to the songs them properly. If you can't even remove a beat and listen to what I say alone. A hint for you, like a, about you or what? Yeah, a hint about me. Okay. For them, where them can understand the artist more. Okay. You understand? Yeah, man, because mm-hmm. the thing about me, I don't sing cap, you know? Mm. Yeah, man. Not always sing on a tree cap one at a time. Mm, that's just it. You're up on the interview, you know what I mean? So you have me do it, you know? What do you mean? <laughs> just cool, <laughs> man. Yeah, you know, disappointed like, we'd be. Say, we had do, we had do this interview and I know craft, we had do it with like, somebody else, or some clue. We had to do it. blood clot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, because I think it's the same lights out where you, you flow differently. Yeah. And I guess it's just trying to, I mean, you know, trap dance, I'll get a bad rap. People complain yeah. about it all the time. But, you know, you bring, you fuse, I hear, you fuse both hip hop. Yeah, man. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and dance and all. Dance I mean, that's, is, it well? is that your signature? Do you, you want that to be your signature for you? It's like when people think of craft, them think of this. Yeah, man. Because mm-hmm. most people, most dance all fans they don't really like. Well, they don't want, they don't want to blend both rap. worlds. Like why, yeah. why you think that you could, you can get away with that? Yeah, it's a be, reason being, Thoughts, the thoughts that we have. All right, so for example, you is, you is an, uh, a Japanese, you're a Japanese, and I'm Can American. You see me? And you listen to one artist. That one artist should be able to sing a song in American, in perfect English, mm-hmm. and sing a song in Japanese. I not even like the same song, mm-hmm. a boat, perfect English and Japanese in it. And you both can still enjoy that one song. Mm. 
and you can both can vibe to the one song mm -hmm. and probably become friends because you both were listening that one song at the same time and you both want to catch the same vibe off of it. Mm -hmm. okay. You see me? Okay. So right now, me stay and so leave your song going at the boat and do a soca song and mix it with, 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 with pop mm. or crunk. I mm. one of them something there and them wonder like what, what is this? This a mad scientist. How him mm. do this? Because nothing is impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to just bend your mind to it. And you think that you're capable of doing that like yes, I mean it's a hypothetical, but you ever thought of doing that like blending yeah. like two very different genres where you never think can work. It a forward. Together. Okay. The see combustion man, I saw him. Yeah, man. Nah, don't lie, what me hear what you do is um the M and M sound for the Dido. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I say, yo, it's done very, very well. Yeah, no. I don't know enough producer, and enough artists could have pulled off a song like that. Yes, what was yeah. the inspiration behind that? All right, the inspiration behind that is because I was listening to the M&M. Mm. Stan, I'm thinking Stan. Stan, yeah. And I was like, why him never respond back to the fan? He <laughs> <laughs> only uh, sing what the fan say, mm. like the letters what the, the, the fan has sent to him. Mm. Mm. I was like, all right, I'm going to do a song like I'm responding back to the fan. Mm. But the song that I did was I wasn't responding back to just one fan. You see me? I was responding to a mixture of fans. Mm -hmm. Cause you realize so like, what, like what you talked about, about earlier, like out. with the DMs and mm -hmm. Right. So it's like the first part of the song, even though the first part of the song grimy and it might sound like, you know, like, like a little disrespectful. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. she a call and she should have meet my mother yeah. and them thing there. You see me? That's just like me trying to find some way if you, if you explain like why most of the time we can't respond or this is just the life where we live and mm -hmm. it's not just because we choose it but because of how the circumstances <coughs> we're forward with. You see me? Because me not going to just know a girl tonight. The next day you're going to know my mother now and so it work. You see, pray? <laughs> then this, the, 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 the last verse of it. Yeah. Yeah. That is just me explaining to my fans them, say, I'm an artist, but I like say I do one thing. I do multiple, I, I multitask. You understand? Yeah. And that means, say, when I multitask, I don't always have the time to stay and, you know, respond to this or respond to that. You see, you pray, but I love it. All of my fans them say, do you? Mm -hmm. Because even right now, I feel like Instagram, I try to sabotage me. I'm going to send it. I show, I show, I know so this is a good pan in here, you know. <laughs> yeah. But them I try to sabotage the badness because when my fans them, like, me not call them fans because I don't even like a word there. Mm -hmm. When my people them stay and repost like a song for me, like they're snapping to a song for me, I can't, me can't, I can't repost it back on my Instagram. So, you know, really? I think you're shadow banned for real because when I try to look you up, yeah, I don't see. I, I, I see like a fan page or something. I'm like, wait, this isn't the, this isn't this can't be the page. Yeah. So I, I is um like several search come mm -hmm. up later. I'm like, right. oh, there you are. So There's a million different are. name. Yeah, I think you are shadow banned. The blue ticky are forward, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Not I think you life. are shadow banned. <laughs> well, why? Why you think so? Why you think you are? Like, is it that? Probably told me some shut a man now. Okay. That All might. Right. <laughs> that okay. might. You know. Part yeah, of you the know. reason for real. Yeah, that was that's, one of my that's captions. That's clearly understood in English. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they put up a picture and me caption it like that. Some shut a man now. So probably I basically from them time that they must say. Mm. Yeah. You know, but that that don't really fears me. Hmm. Is it? And they're still find you and reach out to you. Yeah. And come right. To you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, you put out the EP. I mean, I'm seeing, and I don't know if it's, if it's the same on your case, but there are positive reactions from the EP. I mean, is there any plans? Like, what are the plans now going forward? Like, what more do you want to give the people? Like, is I'm assuming this is only the beginning. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. It's not even the beginning, man. <laughs> it's even beginning it. Mm. Yeah, man. It even started. So you have plans. I mean, 2023 is just like a couple of weeks away. Yeah, man. Is there... I'm so no agwan, man. Okay. I so your know. main focus right now is just focusing on Sting? Because I think that's the biggest thing. Maybe. I don't know if there's something else after. Yeah. yeah. I know. I said, to be honest, 
Then I didn't even focus on it one night time. Okay. Yeah, my book feed. Just I'll go over there to perform for mm-hmm. my fans. Then, but that's not my main focus. You see, my main focus, I hear one of them big promoters that keep them big concerts. They are fine. I know I'm going hear when I hear a live that they set me a forward on the ear. Over Miami and them places there. Eh, California. One of them places where I keep them big concerts there. What them call us something there again? Coachella. Coachella and them something there. Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Yes, yeah, see, there's Summer yeah, Jam. Summer yeah, man. Book craft for Summer Jam. Yeah. I think I come that well couple place. There. Yeah, because you yeah, can do the hip hop and yeah. the dance hall. Yeah, man. I come that a couple place and I bring back some money come to Jamaica and stay so I make my fans them happy one at a time. Yeah, man. Best believe if I make, if I make one, one, one good 50 million, man. Wifey, man. That's the way. Yeah. Yeah, we have deep joy. We don't have deep joy when it comes to a couple of things. We don't have We don't have people have father. You can't set up your mic. Mic set up. Why for that, my father? Sex, ah, that, yeah, oh so. my God, everything <laughs> is why. <wife>. Almighty. <laughs> well, no. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, but you? yeah, we didn't talk about his influence. Mm-hmm. I think we talked about it last time. We just didn't want to talk about, you see me, what he's doing for you, mm-hmm. to him. But... What he has, like, how has he guided you through this time right now? Like, how, how, how instrumental has he been during them time? Yeah, you see a man there with them called Deep Dry. Them mm. man there, what I call it, you know. Them man they come like them go through the music. And reincarnate and go through music, right? No, I know him turn up as a, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 man. yeah, yeah, again, yeah, I could get worried. <laughs> yeah, man. AI. A deep guy, the six that turn up as a... <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the dog is a very experienced artist. Mm-hmm. You know, well versed in our music. Mm. You see me? And most of the time when mysterious and like, because he's a very stubborn person, you know? If me say, I saw me, I do it. Me, I do it so you know. Yeah. But you see, deep dry now. You see, if me, I go make a mistake, the dog have a way of, of giving you advice. Where the advice when you make, where you, the dog, do just come like a real fuck you one at a time. Mm. And the advice when you are the real advice. Mm. And that I write to you if you go for true. You see me? Yeah, man, because I even go stop right there so I show you darkness, even with this clash thing. Yeah. See me? Before me even drop a song, the G said to me, say, oh, do you even look upon that one at a time? Mm. But you have remember, say, we are Jamaica and we had scrap. Yeah. Yeah. Me say, I don't need to see no father. You know? Yeah, man. I went to manager and everybody asleep, man, and I miss a night, man. <laughs> that, that's so like yeah, man. that's so like She's a conversation right, yeah. and say no nah, man we're not going to do nothing yeah, and man. then management goes to say yo make we do it now we want to do it <laughs> like something like no man no man, no, man. when me, me finish up with that thing man and I yeah. miss a night man when everybody asleep me decide say, it up he said do it I mean do it I understand yeah <laughs> We got it. <laughs> That's exactly what you did. <laughs> She's shaking her head like this guy. <laughs> yeah, man. But you have to know. But let me show you something. More you have to, you have to, you have to prove still, you know, so you can do it, you know. Mm. You know. But sometimes you have to remind. Yeah. You have to remind the, the, the congregation say so you are able to do it. Mm-hmm. You're just not going to waste too much energy on it. You see, pre- and the and the situation will look like it's it's the right situation right. for you to do it. You see me? Mm-hmm. That is why you have a team. And when I realize that some artists don't even have a team, so they just go out in a world and do be a fuckery. Yep. Mm-hmm. When it makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, man. So as an artist, first thing we have to consider is form a team. And not just farm any team. Not farm a team where just because they know so this man have a matic over there so he can't protect it back. Mm. The one they have a AK over there so he can't protect it back. That That's is not security. a team. That's security. <laughs> That's security. That's an entourage. Yes. Yeah. Entourage different from team. Yes. Your team is the is the, the individuals where see you, see the person where the fans them not see. Mm-hmm. Them know your flaws them. 
and are able to to uh-huh. to help you in making key decisions right. regarding your career. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And congrats again on all the success. Yeah, mm-hmm. looking forward to 2023. Yeah, man. But I truly even know good. We feel or we say artists like you do good. I was say, yo, it, it makes me personally feel good. I say, yeah, the artists Why? are the way. It Why? makes me feel good, man. Why? I say, yo, we we'll have something for this. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I like. I joke, man. I joke, man. We just, we just like to see, like when we talked to you the first time and even before talking to you, we listen to the music. We we'll yeah. say, our potential is there. Yeah. And we see it actually actualized. Because enough artists to talk to you with potential and then mm-hmm. he's kind of see Peter out. You see mm-hmm. But with him, there's, Progress happening. As me, I say, yo, there's even more progress to forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't see it with him. I'm going to back at that. It's a forward, man. Mm. The light is there, too. <laughs> <laughs> that piece of sunlight, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, man, big up, crowd. Give thanks again for this. Give thanks again for talking to us. Yeah, man. All right. Activity. Yeah, man. I was going to say Buddha chat, but I don't sound good saying uh, it. Buddha chat. <laughs> <laughs>